I don't take cream in my coffee. Oh, yeah, sorry. Don't know what I was thinking. You know, it's it's so good to see that you're you're feeling better, especially after those god awful treatments they've been giving you. Well, you're the one who insisted on me taking them. Well, only because it's it's your best shot for recovery. Well, anything to spend more time with you. Exactly. That's it. You know, I don't care if anyone thinks I'm throwing my life away. I love Miguel. And I'm gonna stay true to that love. Well, I'm glad that I look okay to you, but uh, you know, I, I suddenly feel really tired. I, I told you, you, you shouldn't have gone with me to the prison. Well, I wasn't gonna let you go by yourself. Besides, it's not like you would let me exert myself. All I did was wait in the car. I don't know why I feel so tired. Well, you need to rest. Well, I can't afford to waste the time I have left resting. I need to be here strong and fit. Every minute, every hour, of every day. For you and Maria. Thank you, Wami. Mean, you got the wrong guy, okay? I've never seen you guys in my life. <laughs> you hear that, Gumbo? Yeah. Sound like he wanted to get better acquainted with us. I thought I knew you, Louise. You do. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Don't even try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I was here. I saw you. I saw what you were doing together. Together what? When? All right, you know what? Let's just back up a second. Now, first of all, what are you doing dressed as a prison guard? Oh, it was the only way I could get in here after you scratched me off your visitor's list. Well, I scratched you off the visitor's list to protect you, Fancy. No, you did it to protect yourself. No wonder you didn't want me around. You were ready to move on, and you didn't want me to know. Well, too bad, Louise. I do know. And I've got to tell you, you couldn't have hurt me more if you tried. Thank God, I got out of there without being busted. But I've got to get back in there to see Louise. I didn't have enough time to convince Louise that I'm the woman he loves. I can't lose Luis. Not again. We actually have some great news for you. We decided we're planning to start a family. Right away. As in tonight. Well, after you guys leave, of course. Good morning, Wendy. How you doing? You know, I don't know where Cook's gone off to, but let me make you some breakfast. No, thank you. Or then some coffee or, or tea. Wendy, got my breakfast right here. Thanks. like somebody took an axe to the place.
<laughs> well, that was kind of the idea. But, but... But? No, 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 no buts. You're my wife. We love each other. All right, we've hardly been able to spend any time together alone since we've been married. Because of your illness. Because the doctors say I have less than a year to live. That's all the more reason to take advantage of, of whatever time we can spend together. I know. It's... Yeah, it's bad enough that I don't get to make love to you whenever I want to. Which, for the record, would be all the time. But I didn't know that there were limitations on making out. It's, it's just where it could lead. Well, if it could lead to us falling onto the bed or the couch or, or the table, then let it. Yeah, but it's, it, it's not that I don't want to. I want to. It's, it's just the treatments that you're taking. You know, and the doctor said you shouldn't engage yourself in I, sexual I don't activity. remember them saying I shouldn't. I remember them saying that it's probable that I won't be able to, but I, I don't remember them saying I shouldn't. And if I can, then you better believe that I will. What if I told you that, that making love to you, that kissing you, that was the best medicine I could ever take? Oh, you're just being sweet. <laughs> Sweet's got nothing to do with it, my beautiful, sexy wife. Who knew that I'd feel like the luckiest guy on earth? You want to have a death sentence above my head. Listen, you make me feel alive. And I'm so grateful that you give me something to fight for. Something to live for. You want to take that away from me? I won't do it, Miguel. I, I can't stay with Fox. I'm not going to do Please, it. Please, do it for me, Kay. This is the hardest thing... I've ever had to do it, and I'm doing it because I know it's what's best for you and Maria. Why? why? Why are you sending me back to the guy who put you in here? I can't do it. If you can't do it for me, can't you do it for her? She deserves the best, Kay. Don't you think? Fox can give her that. Okay, go to Fox. He'll be good to you, and it's what's best for you and Maria. What is it? What's the matter? It's... Look, there's something I have to tell you. I am not feeling good. Maybe you should sit down. Yeah, I think I need to sit down. I don't feel so good. Louis die. And when I save him, he's going to spend the rest of his life with me. It's okay, it's okay. Right? We're gonna be fine. Stay calm. <laughs> you don't give up until you come back to me, Louise. Rachel, I still have no idea what you're talking about. Now, listen, if you were upset because I scratched your name off the visitor's list, it's I... It's why you took me off, Luis. Now I know. It wasn't about me at all. It was all about you and your selfish needs. What? God, I can't believe I was that naive. I thought only gay men... What? What does this have to do with gay men? Do you really want me to spell it out, Louise? I already feel like the biggest jerk that ever walked the earth. I turned my life upside down to sneak inside here just to see you. Okay. And what do I find when I get here? That I'm the last person you're thinking about. I don't know whether I'm more upset that you're having sex with someone else or who you picked to do it with. I mean, what? 
Josh. All right, look, I'm sorry, but I still have no idea what you're talking. Now, I get that you were very upset. And honestly, I'm very flattered that you snuck in here, went to all this trouble oh, to come please, and see please. me. Oh, please, please. That is a joke. You haven't missed a beat since the last time you laid your eyes on me. And to, to think I actually believed you loved me. I did love you. I do love don't, you. Don't, don't, dare lie to me about that. You are nothing but a liar. You need to tell me what this is all about. It's about me being taken for a ride by the man I loved and trusted. Here I was, so worried about your well-being and how you were dealing with your death sentence and what it felt like to be all alone in here. It'd be a joke if it weren't so damn tragic. Oh, and believe it or not, I wasn't born yesterday. I know guys have lots of physical needs, which is no doubt why so many of you turn to each other in here. What? You've only been in here a few hours, and you're already into men. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, I said, I said I'm fine. I don't need anything to eat, okay? You have to eat something, Mr. Winthrop. It's not good to drink alcohol on an empty stomach. I wonder you don't want to sleep in your room last night. It looks like the set of The Shining. You gonna tell me what happened here? Well, I... God, you know, I... I decided to remodel my bedroom. <laughs> Did you ever hear of Bob Vila? I... You know, you're not supposed to start out by taking a sledgehammer to your own wall. I and you know what? I regretted it the moment I did it. But you know, it, the truth is I've just been so darn frustrated with this color scheme. I just, I mean, honestly, I never really liked this room. I mean, do you like it? I, I don't know. If I, you know, why not? Why not get the renovation started myself, you know? And it's not like there aren't a million other rooms for me to sleep in. I mean, even that. Well, I hope you don't mind if I have a proper contract to fix the job for us. Oh, God, of course not. No, please. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised, you know. Of course you're going to be taken aback by this whole mess. I mean, who wouldn't be? But you know what? Great when it's finished. Oh, let's hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what they say about breaking a few eggs to make an omelet? I thought we were a little more interested in making babies than we were omelets. Oh, uh, we are. And I think that we should get started on that right away. In here? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's make those right now. I don't want them anymore. I just, um, my head, I feel really weak all of a sudden. I feel like there's somebody stabbing me in the eyes. So, like, uh, it's not good. Could you just give me one of the pills? Yeah, sure. I can't let Kate tell me that she's leaving me for Miguel. There'd be no bouncing back from that. You know, it's probably gonna take a couple minutes for these uh, these things to kick in, so maybe I should go lay down. Yeah, what, whatever you think. It's just, I gotta get this out, okay? What? What I was gonna tell you before, it's really important. I don't know, Fox, I just feel like that. Oh. What? I just get the worst feeling. That something's wrong. That something's really, really wrong. No fair, man. What about me? Uh, what the hell? Back off, meatheads. You're real. You do this to the newbies all the time. Yeah, but I'm careful not to kill them. People notice those things, even around here. Okay. I love you. 
possibly be thinking what I think that you are. What? You're ashamed of turning gay? In this day and age, where I am not every... gay. Oh, please. If you're going to tell me this is a one-night thing, I'm not buying it. For me once, shame on you. For me twice, shame on me. I saw you making out with him. Him? Yes, him. You're roomy. How convenient for you to be able to share a cell. What, did you request it? Or was it just pure luck that you were paired up with someone you were attracted to? <laughs> she think that me and Max were, uh... Just, just, uh just don't say it. It makes me sick to think about it, so I certainly don't want to hear it. Well, I don't know what you think you saw, but you certainly didn't see me Don't Max. lie to me, Luis. I told you I saw you with my own eyes. First, last night, and then this morning... All right, morning. You know, let me stop you right there. Because Max wasn't brought in until this morning. So, there was another man last well, night. There is no other man. Liar, liar, pants on fire, Luis. I don't blame you for trying to get out of it. God knows what this will do to your mother. Ah, what? You are not going to tell my mother I'm gay because I am not gay. How could you possibly think that? There's no thinking about it, Luis. I know what I saw. Don't deny it. It only makes it worse. But if you had any guts at all, you'd just admit it and tell me you're sorry. No. That being in prison, locked up like this with all these men, just got to you somehow. Fancy, I am telling you the truth. I love you. No, don't, don't ever say that to me again. Not after what I saw. You know, when I think about you, when I risked just to be with you again. I'm not going anywhere, please. I'm not letting you go anywhere until you tell me that you believe me. Beautiful test. Looks like you finally learned your lesson, you bitch. You're beautiful. I don't know what I did in a past life to deserve you. But whatever it was, I thank God. Uh. Wonderful, Jared. Yes, you are. A princess. And the fact that you married me and now you want to be the mother of my child is it's a dream come true. Come on. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> I mean to embarrass you. It's just I keep pinching myself, trying to realize that you're my wife. And you're gonna be the mother of my children. And you have no idea how scared I was that I'd lose you to Ethan in the end. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I can admit that now. That's all I thought about. I was afraid that, oh, you'd just go tired of me and you'd go back to him. Especially after Ethan got those divorce papers from Gwen. But I married you, Jared. Well, that doesn't matter. Look at Fox and Kay. The ring or no ring, she's in love with your brother Miguel. And thanks for choosing me. Thanks for making me the happiest man in the world. 
Will you do it? Will you have Jared's baby? Most women can wait to have children by their husbands. Mm. Very good. Um. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So hungry all of a sudden. Hungry? Yes. Oh, maybe you're pregnant already. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be something. <laughs> well, I'll go down and I'll make us something to eat. Oh, no, come on, please. You just got out of the hospital. You should rest. I'm just going to quick change. I'll be... Oh. What's that for? Thanks. They're going to make you a sandwich? No. Making me your husband. <laughs> the luckiest man in the world. So far, you're lucky. Let's hope your wife keeps making you feel that way. Better take a look at this one, Doc. He ain't in real good shape. Good Lord, what happened to him? Uh, you know how it is, Doc. Accident in the shower, probably slipped on a bar of soap. He's been beaten to a pulp by another prisoner. Maybe more than one. From the looks of things, I say he tried to fight back. Well, he's new, hasn't learned that won't do any good. Where were you when it happened? Now, don't look at me. I, I just came on shift. I didn't touch him. You didn't do anything to help me either, did you? Hope you're proud of yourself. Hey, don't take this out on me, Doc. He's gonna pull through, though, right? I don't know. From the looks of things, I wouldn't make any guarantees. Better give me his file so I can notify his next of kin, just in case. No, I, I, I just checked on her before. I think it's... Nothing. No, it's... Ugh. I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, forget it. I'm sorry. Okay, if you say so. Listen, um... I'm still not feeling so good, so uh, I'm gonna go lay down, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you upstairs. Oh, I'm... I'm gonna get the phone. Hold on. Hello? Okay, this is bad. Okay, he thinks I'm dying and she still could break up with me. What's it gonna take? Oh my god, okay, I'll be right there. What? what? I, I what have to it? go, I have to go. It was Pilar Miguel's been hurt. What? In jail? Yeah, he's in the prison infirmary and she said he's in really bad shape and she can't get there for another hour, so I have to go. God, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. Oh, wait, 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 I'm, I'm coming with you. I mean, you're not going alone. No, you can't. I'll just call you if I know something. Listen, you are not going alone, okay? You can drive, but I'm coming with you. Fine, let's go. I'm not letting you go until you tell me that you believe me. How can I when I know what I saw? Well, I don't know what you think you saw, but it didn't happen. Why don't you just admit it? Maybe you didn't have any gay tendencies before, but when you found yourself locked up in this all-male prison, you figured, hey, why not make the best of it? No, I did not figure why not make the best of it. I didn't kiss any men. Tell it, Max, tell her. I don't know what he did before I got here, but nothing went down between him and me. No how, no way. You see? You see that? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. That's the only explanation. Is it? Yeah. Let's make this the fastest shower in history, okay? Oh, my God. I... You're not denying it now. No, 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 no. <gasps> because it's true. Oh, my no, God. It's not, no, it's true. not true. Fancy, I'm telling... I can explain! Get off me! Spike! What the hell do you think you're doing? You called me, remember? You said it was a matter of life and death, so I dropped everything and I got over here. And what do you do? You kick me in the family jewels! Damn, lady! What the hell's the matter with you? Eat something, Mr. Winthrop. Wendy, I told you I'm not hungry, okay? Oh, whatever you say. I have to take this tray up to Mr. Julian. Oh. 
Oh, 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 yourself. You know, it's, it's, it's morning. You probably shouldn't be drinking at this hour. Yeah, well, what do you care what I do, right? Well, I don't really want to argue with you, so I, I just came here to get coffee and toast. Toast? You want toast? Hey, hey, I got a toast for you. Want a toast? Here's to Teresa and Jared. May they live happily, never after. There's your toast. I don't know what you did to get in here, but whatever it was, you sure didn't deserve this. Try not to move. Don't talk. Just take your time waking up. Where am I? In the prison infirmary. Courtesy of a misadventure in the showers. You must have made somebody pretty mad. I didn't even know the guys would beat me up. They don't play real fair in here. How's your head? It hurts. I thought so. How much do you remember? I remember. I remember I went back to take a second shower. And out of nowhere, these, these two massive guys just started beating the hell out of me. And I tried to fight them back, but... I get the picture. But at least there wasn't any serious brain injury. Oh. Yeah, well... Uh, I'm not so sure that wouldn't be a blessing when you're stuck in a zoo like this, Doctor. Trust me, it wouldn't be. Uh, you sure you didn't do anything to provoke these guys? I never saw them before in my life. I reported the incident to the warden. And I'm not sure what action he'll take. No, yeah, well, I'm not counting on anything. Miguel. Oh, my God. Okay, how did you know? Your mom called me. Is he going to be okay? His vital signs are stabilizing. He's got a mild concussion, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. No broken bones, no internal injuries, no, no brain damage. Oh, my God. I was so scared I thought I lost you. I believe you're here. You're a very lucky man. This must be your wife. Well, she's my wife. <laughs> That's exactly it. Fancy saw me kissing Sheridan, and then she thought it was a man. What's this Sheridan look like? <laughs> she was in disguise. She dressed up as a guy so she could get in here with me. You got one dressing up as a guy and another one as a prison guard. How'd you get two chicks in love with you? No, oh, she's my ex-girlfriend. I didn't even want to kiss her. Oh, yeah, right. No wonder this fancy isn't buying it. That's true. Tried to get rid of her, but then she followed me to the showers. <laughs> this gets better and better. No, I'm telling you, nothing happened. So Fancy must have saw me with her before she left. Lucky dog. Two babes so in love with you, they're trying to get into prison instead of out of it. I've heard everything. You're an idiot, you know that? Why, because she told me to rush over here, and I did? Ha! Huh. Talking about a spoiled, rotten princess! Don't call me names! You know, I have an idea. Don't you call me. Ever again. You know, you told me you were desperate for me to get over here. Yeah. To help me. Not to come on to me. Like I would ever find a slimy weasel like you attractive. <laughs> okay. I don't need this. I don't need this. Especially for some Looney Tunes psycho chick who I helped get into the state pen to see her lover boy. And by the way, why the hell did you leave? I didn't. Luis made me go. Well, he sounds like an idiot. You are not fit to wipe his boots. I don't need this. I'm out of here, okay? And let the truth die with you. No, you cannot go. You have to help me save Luis.
you're making a big mistake, you know. Let's just not talk. You know, I, you know, I wouldn't come down here if I had known that you were here. So. Oh, thank you so much. It's very nice. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, Ethan. You want to make me feel better? I have an idea. What you can do, you can go upstairs and tell Jared that you're going to divorce him and tell him that you love me. You know why I can't do that? I know, because you want to help your brothers. I understand that. Exactly. Teresa, here's what you got to do. You got to forget about the blackmailer because I'm going to get your brothers out of prison. Ethan, you've tried that before. I'm going to try harder. I love you. No, no, no. I love you and you love me. Don't touch me. Teresa, you're going to bring... This helpless little baby into the world with a man that you don't even love. You can't do that. No, no, okay, that's enough. All right, just stop. You know what? The baby that I'm going to have with Jared is going to be happy and healthy, and he or she will be raised by two loving parents. By two loving parents that aren't meant for each other at all. You don't think a child can pick up on something like that? You bet they can. Look at little Ethan. You don't think he knows that his two parents hate each other? No, that's not true. Yeah. All right, maybe you don't hate Julian, but you sure as hell don't like him. You don't think a little kid can pick up on that? Every time Julian walks in a room that you're in, you don't think he senses something? I don't know, even maybe, but you know what? It's completely different with Jared. Because if you weren't in the picture, I could love him. Now, I would love him. I am in the picture. I am always going to be right here in the picture. Fox drove you here? No, I drove. He's just parking the car. Is he going to be okay? In this place, okay is a relative word. But if you mean physically, yes. He's young, he's healthy enough. He should make a full recovery. The husband or boyfriend's a very lucky man. Oh, he's not like. Thank you. I'll be back to look in on you. And no monkey business. There'll be a guard posted outside. Thank God this wasn't worse. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know what I would have done if something happened to you. It was not supposed to be this way. I don't care what I have to do. I need to see Luis again. But I already pulled all the strings I had to get you in the first time. So what, I'm supposed to risk life and limb to do it again? Uh-huh. Listen, why don't you just forget about Louis? These days are numbered. Hey, I, I, I am available, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't even think about it. You even dare touch me, and I will be the last thing you ever touch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you are just like your old man, maybe even worse. There. I am worse. Because I learned from the master that when it comes to getting what you want, anything goes. And I guess by what you want, you mean Luis. I will be with him again, with or without your help. And if you have the tiniest brain in that sleazy head of yours, you will help me. God, that's not nice to say, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Yet. But I do know I have a little bit of time. At least Fancy's not getting in to see Luis either. What am I doing running away from Luis when he's been sentenced to death? What if he's telling me the truth? Gotta talk to Fancy. Make her understand what she saw. And you're gonna help me, Max. Say what? Just follow my lead. Play along. Play along how? What are you getting at? You're not gonna kiss me, are you? No, Max, I'm not gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kill you. And Tess wants to be the mother of my child. I wonder if it'll be a boy or a girl. Can't do this. 
this. You cannot have a baby with a man that you don't love. I don't want to talk about this. You're going to hear this. You're going to hear this. I'm not going to let you make the second biggest mistake of your life. The first being you marrying Jared in the first place. Let me help your brothers. I'm going to clear their names if you just give me the time to do it. No, Ethan, Luis is going to die very soon. Miguel is going to spend the rest of his life behind bars, all because I didn't obey the blackmailer. I'm not going to risk their fates again. And I'm not going to risk ours. If you've ever believed in me in your life, take a leap of faith with me right now and give me the chance to help your brothers on my own. Do it for them and do it for us. Don't cross me again, Teresa. You won't even know what hit you if you do.